The year in crime begins with one of the more bizarre twists. Accused murderer Antonio Williams dies in jail January 14th. Williams, along with Carol Ann Clear and Darren Englert, had been arrested for their roles in the July 2011 murder of Jeremy Gibson. That fall, the Indiana Department of Corrections admitted Williams had been released more than a year early for a prior conviction, leading Tippecanoe County Prosecutor Pat Harrington to say, This was a, a horrific crime, a brutal crime. It should have never happened. One month later, in February, Clear pleads guilty to her role in the murder. A jury convicts Englert in November. Lafayette's other murder case from July 2011 also is wrapped up in 2012. In March, Michael Anthony Foster pleads guilty to helping murder 26-year-old Clarence Smith in July of 2011. A jury convicts Artanian Porsche in April and Kevin Williams in August of their roles in Smith's murder. And in March of 2012, there's an arrest in Lafayette's only other murder from 2011. Prosecutors charge Richard Fouts for killing his 84-year-old grandfather, William Hartlip, in Hartlip's Meadow Drive home in October. Detectives say DNA connects Fouts to the ransacked house. But 2012's year in crime really begins with a story that has no ending. 94-year-old Samuel Kessler, a former Montgomery County commissioner, is shot and killed January 28th. No arrests have been made. In March, a welfare check leads to a six-hour standoff with White County deputies. Two shots are fired at the deputies. Christian Kondo faces six felony charges, including attempted murder. In June, West Lafayette police say Jeffrey Hancher shoots his friend in the back near the intersection of Huron Road and Navajo Drive. Hancher currently faces a battery charge. In October, 29-year-old Ty Renfro was shot and killed inside a Monticello home. Ray Shamoro was charged with murder, and three others are also arrested for their roles in the crime. October also sees Lafayette's first homicide of the year. Police say Kevin Adams shot Robert Rudical II in the chest with a shotgun after a dispute about a woman gets out of hand at Adams' home on Kasuf Street. At the time, investigators are not sure if the two men had ever met and say Rudical was not armed. But perhaps the crime story of the year was the large number of armed robberies, especially in Lafayette and Frankfurt. There were four armed bank robberies in just a six-week stretch in September and October. While not all are solved, in November, police announced two arrests, Ronald Corbin and Christopher Clemens, who both face multiple charges in connection with several of the robberies. And those are the top crime stories from 2012. With News 18, I'm Dan Klein.